it all. Okay, a little pressure. A crowded ER. Molly. Nurses and PAs rushing to save lives. Victims bleeding. All right, he's crashing. Let me get a crash cart. And undergraduates in Methodist University's nursing and PA programs are in charge. Running outside and all of a sudden I just couldn't move. It's all part of a lifelike mock disaster culminating in the nursing school's state-of-the-art trauma center. This baby was in the car that exploded, so he's got some burns on his hands and arms and then on his head. So we're getting some oxygen on him, we're going to dress his burns, and then he's going to be moved to a burn center. It's hands-on experience unlike any other university in the country. With no outside help, students must assess the victim's injuries and provide proper treatment. This is a 55-year-old man involved in an explosion. By the time they got him here, uh, he had decompensated. Uh, he was completely unresponsive. One of my favorite things about the simulation is it allows the students to be more independent. They get to make decisions on their own, where in clinical we're always telling them what to do. Methodist University built this simulation lab to give students here a competitive edge. If they forget to do something, a certain step, then that essentially is burned into their brain because in their minds in the simulation, it's a real patient and they, they have done something wrong and you don't forget things like that. You kind of had to think on your feet. You were prepared to an extent, but then when the cameras are on you, it's a little bit more stressful. Practical, intensive, realistic experiences. It's what the nursing and PA program here is all about. I think it was a really good learning experience because we got to pull out all the stops. We got to use all the equipment and it was very realistic and we were able to collaborate with the PAs as the providers and the nurses and the lab techs. So there was a lot going on. Methodist University, engage, enrich, empower.